नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल क्यूबेड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एफ टेडियो टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द थर्ड लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट फ्रॉम द पेपर दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन गाइनेटिक थियरी ऑफ गैसेस इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल एम सी क्यू कंसिडर अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन गैसेस ओ टू एंड एन टू एट टेम्परेचर ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्शियस विच ऑफ द RMS speed of oxygen molecules is uh, less than RMS speed of nitrogen molecules and if you go to D uh, it is RMS speed of oxygen molecules greater than RMS speed of into molecules and options B and C are comparing uh, average kinetic energy of oxygen with that of nitrogen molecules the problem is very simple okay first of all we take a note of the fact that both gases are diatomic and both are at the same temperature both are at the same temperature and that is 27 degrees celsius or 300 kelvin now let us recall a formula uh, from kinetic theory of gases which says that the rms speed of molecules is inversely proportional to the molar mass of the gas okay rms speed is inversely proportional to molar mass of the well root of the molar mass of the gas assumed ideal now what is the molar mass of oxygen 32 grams what is the molar mass of nitrogen 28 grams so the one which has the smaller molar mass will have greater rms speed so which one will have uh, greater rms speed nitrogen because its molar mass will be uh, is lesser than that of oxygen so which option will be right uh, rms speed of uh, okay nitrogen uh, molecules will have greater rms speed right because they have lower molar mass so rms speed of oxygen molecule will be less than rms speed of nitrogen molecules hence it is option a and because kinetic theory or uh, sorry average kinetic energy depends on temperature is a function of temperature because both the gases are at same temperature average kinetic energy of molecules of oxygen and that of nitrogen molecules mm. will be same so b and c will not going to play any role it was either option a or d and based on this relation we are ms inversely proportional to square root of molar mass and knowing the values of the molar masses of oxygen and nitrogen we have arrived at the right conclusion and that is option a